Today, we're focusing on the deltoid muscle. The deltoid is a triangular-shaped muscle that sits superficially over the shoulder joint, forming that distinctive, rounded shoulder appearance. It is responsible for three major shoulder movements, abduction, flexion, and extension. Abduction involves lifting the arm away from the body, flexion moves the arm forward, and extension moves the arm backward. The deltoid muscle has a distinct origin from three main areas. The anterior fibers originate from the lateral part of the clavicle, aiding in forward arm movement. The middle fibers arise from the acromion of the scapula and are multi-pennate, making them the strongest part of the muscle and essential for arm abduction. The posterior fibers originate from the spine of the scapula, facilitating backward arm movement. These fibers together form a V-shape. The clavicular part arises from the anterior surface of the medial half of the clavicle. Here is a closer look at the three groups of fibers of the deltoid muscle, anterior, middle, and posterior. The deltoid muscle inserts at the lateral aspect of the mid-shaft of the humerus, forming a V-shaped attachment. Remember, its origin is also V-shaped, similar to its insertion. The deltoid muscle receives its nerve supply from the axillary nerve, originating from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus, and consisting of C5 and C6 fibers. Here is how the axillary nerve curves around the surgical neck of the humerus beneath the deltoid muscle, innervating from its undersurface, so that the intramuscular injections are administered to the lower half of deltoid muscle to prevent injury to the axillary nerve, which is located in its upper half. The deltoid muscle performs several actions based on its fiber orientation, the anterior fibers are responsible for the flexion of the arm, while the posterior fibers facilitate extension. The middle fibers play a crucial role in the abduction of the arm, which is considered the strongest action of the deltoid. It's important to note that abduction by the deltoid occurs from 15 to 90 degrees. The initiation of abduction up to 15 degrees is primarily performed by the supraspinatus muscle, while abduction beyond 90 degrees is assisted by the trapezius muscle. That wraps up our look at the anatomy of deltoid muscle. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more anatomy insights.